When you think about breakfast, what comes to mind? Cornflakes in a bowl with some milk? Maybe it's really special. Some pancakes, some bacon, some eggs. We're here in Nishantasha to find Turkish breakfast, an essential part of this culture and a delicious part of your day. Yeah, so breakfast in America on a typical day is a pretty rushed affair. I mean, you're up, you grab some cereal or something quick, go-gurt, and just head out the door with your coffee on your way to work. I mean, a lot of people don't eat breakfast, right? They go through a drive through on the way to work or they eat something in the car or just have a cup of coffee. In Turkey, the breakfast culture is a little more, well, they're a little more present, it's a little slower. Um, you kind of sit and eat and enjoy your food. Uh, the day maybe starts a little later uh, and it's just kind of a nice start to the day. Nishantashi is a district of Istanbul. Uh, some people say Nishantasha is Istanbul and Göbi. It's like the belly of Istanbul, the heart of the city. Nishantasha is known for its fancy shops. So as you can see here, there's plenty of them. Uh, it's one of the aspects of this district of the city that's kind of upscale. Lots of good stuff here. But we are here to get some breakfast. We are at Von Kabalta Ebi. So Turkish breakfast has several, several components, as you can see here. Um, there's actually a few ones that are fundamental. You kind of find them in every Turkish breakfast, so let's check them out. First of all, bread. <laughs> actually, this is not just for Turkish breakfast. This is for every Turkish meal. Very important part um, of the Turkish kitchen. You've always got cucumbers and tomatoes. Uh, they've thrown a little bit of, looks like mint here, and arugula or rocket uh, on top of it as well, some lemons. But the cucumbers and tomatoes, all the time. Uh, standard part of Turkish breakfast. If you don't like olives, probably because you haven't been to Turkey. Turkish olives are fantastic. They've got black olives and green olives. These are the two kind of fundamental uh, olive types. I am rather partial to the black olives. My wife really likes the green ones. Another component is cheese. So here we've actually got a decent selection of Turkish cheeses. You've got Kashar, which is kind of, you find this cheese everywhere. It melts really easy, maybe somewhere between like mozzarella and jack. It's got a little stronger flavor than mozzarella, but a different flavor than jack. And you've got örgü peynire, which is this kind of like shredded cheese right here. This one actually is literally called white cheese. It's kind of like a feta, but not really. Kind of a mild flavor. This one's called ezine, another kind of like a feta-like cheese with a stronger flavor, and a little more fat. Fantastic, it's one of my favorites. You can find it made from a lot of different types of milk. Um, I prefer the cow's milk version, but you can get it with goat milk, sheep's milk, that sort of thing. This kind of cheese is called Oat Lupeniri. It's special from Vaughn. Uh, it's really salty and really delicious. Also with Turkish breakfast, there's a couple of other things that you can have put on as well. Um, this is reçel, you know, kind of like a jam jelly. If you look at the consistency, it's almost a little runny. I don't want to dump it out here. A lot of people make this uh, at home very delicious as well. This is interesting. So this is tahini pekmez. So it's tahini and molasses mixed together. It has kind of a nutty flavor. It's sweet. It's really good on bread. So this right here, you can't miss this. This is kaimak, which is kind of like clotted cream. If you could cross heavy whipping cream and butter, <laughs> that's what you get here, and you eat it with honey. This is a special kind of honey they've got here. Looks like it might even have some pieces of the comb in it as well, but once you're done eating all the kind of more savory parts of Turkish breakfast, these guys together on bread, it's, you're not gonna wanna leave. We've got hard boiled eggs. This is called menemen. This is red peppers and tomatoes uh, mixed with eggs. You can also get some other stuff in here like cheese, some different kind of meats. This is fantastic. Definitely one of my favorites. There's also this guy right here. It's called sucuk yumurta. So sucuk is a type of Turkish sausage. It's kind of firm. Anthony Bourdain compares it to merguez, it's like Spanish chorizo. You can see the yolk of the egg is still a little uh, ready to be dipped in. So they actually will have this directly in the center of the table and you'll take bread and dip into it uh, and just get yourself some deliciousness. We've also got some chemen here. So chemen actually, if you just translate it later to English, is fenugreek, uh, which is a kind of spice, and it's a kind of spice used in here. Uh, but as you can see, it's kind of like tomato paste and pepper paste mixed together with a lot of spices, including fenugreek, uh, with a little bit of walnut on top. This is very savory, very flavorful, a lot of great spices in here. Um, you can eat it with bread, kind of on the side of everything you're eating. Love this stuff.
Well, that was fantastic. The place never disappoints.